Okay, good morning guys, we are live. Come join me this morning. We're going to look at some more scripture this morning for another daily devotion. It is 12 minutes after 10 a.m. on this cloudy, still cold, Wednesday morning. It is the 12th day of December 2018. So come join me. Gonna look at some scripture. Kind of had a thought this morning, and I read this scripture last night or yesterday afternoon, actually, and then been thinking about it throughout the day yesterday, and last night, and woke up this morning and thought, you know what? We'll we'll cover this scripture this morning for devotion. <clears throat> I've never, if I've seen it, I'm sure I've read it, but I it's never really stood out to me. Um, it's funny how. Um, scriptures will do that you know you'll read something and it don't really set with you or resonate in your mind but then you're reminded of it or you come across it again and then it has more meaning but <clears throat> this morning we're going to cover this um, verse in Jeremiah chapter 9 verse 2 um, before I start to read um, the scripture um, let me just ask you a question how many of you have ever felt, and I know the answer already, so really it's a um, rhetorical question because I, I, I pretty much know the answer to this. Hi, Brian. How you doing, brother? Merry Christmas to you guys. But let me ask you the simple question is, how many have ever felt like running away? <laughs> um, just feels like just packing up and just going somewhere different. Um, Maybe going in hiding, if you will, um, and just never coming back. How many's ever said, you know, I think I'll leave and I'll never come back? Um, how many, or it feels like just moving away, you know, in a, a, a secluded area, you know, where nobody's around? I tell you what, I'll be honest with you. I feel I have those feelings, and um, sometimes I have them more than I should probably, but I just feel like just up and running away or or just going into hiding because listen life is difficult and 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 troubles and situations and circumstances and you know that weighs you down sometimes um, I can remember years ago when I was you know a young boy um, my grandma was frustrated aggravated about something I don't even remember what she was aggravated about I mean she raised 13 kids and you know had so many grandkids and and all these other things so you know I'm sure things got on her nerves but I remember her being aggravated and she said I want to move so far back in the hills away from people that it will take a helicopter just to come see me <laughs> and I'll never forget that of course I had to laugh when she said that but have you ever felt that way have you ever had cir circumstances in your life or trouble or problems in your life um, just weigh you down and you you know you look at the um, day-to-day operations of life and it just seems like it weighs you down and you just want to run away and 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 hide um, listen you're if you've ever felt that way you're not alone you're not alone um, we all feel that way one time or another. You know, we have felt or said words, you know, and, and like I said to this day, you know, I still say sometimes I want to pack up my family and just move away. And then there are days that I want to leave my family behind. But, you know, in all reality, if I would do that, if we would do that, once we calm down, we would look back and we would realize that life isn't life without our family, without our loved ones, um, without our friends. And um, we would realize that we would be very bored very quick. Um, but, you know, again, when we calm down and, and, and realize that, you know, life is what it is. It's life and it's burdensome and it's troublesome sometimes. And remember what Job 14.1 says. You know, it teaches us that man is born of a woman is of a few days and full of trouble. You know, we, we have trouble, and life is full of trouble, but I've got good news for you. i got good news, and I want you to know that instead of running away from our troubles, we can run to Jesus with our troubles, with our heartaches, with our cares, and He will meet our needs. I'll be right back. 
Sorry about that. But anyway, so Job 14.1 teaches us that man is born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. And folks, listen, I want you to know that, you know, we are going to have troubles in life. But instead of throwing your hands up and running away because of frustration, because of being overwhelmed, we have the privilege of running to Jesus Christ and, and, and casting all of our cares upon Him. You know, so when we all have, you know, we all have bad days, we all feel frustrated, we all have, you know, are overwhelmed at sometimes, and it seems like the holidays that we're going through now is the same situation. You know, we try to get everything perfect and try to make everything just as good as we can, and we get stressed and we get overwhelmed, and, and then we just lose the meaning of Christmas and we just lose the spirit of Christmas because of aggravation. But instead, let's go to the Lord and let's just say, God, I have needs, I have troubles, I have problems, and I need you to work them out, and He'll be there. So listen, whether it be family, whether it be your job, your daily task, um, dealing with people in general, which I can attest to is tough at times, I just want you to know that we're not alone, that we can look in the Word of God and we can find, and I've got just a few examples this morning and, and with my scripture reading, of people who felt the same way. You know, because uh, we, we look at the people in the Bible and we think they're so much higher than we are. They're human. And they was frustrated and, and, and felt aggravated. And if you look in the book of Psalms, chapter 55, verse 6 and 7, we can read about David. And he said, And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then would I fly away and be at rest. Lo, then would I wander far off and remain in the wilderness. He was running from his son Absalom, and he was aggravated, and he was you know, angry at, at his actions, and he said, if I could just fly away, I would live in the wilderness. I'd just go away from people. And then you can look in Jeremiah, which is my main text, but Jeremiah um, chapter 9, verse 2, and Jeremiah says, Oh, that I had in the wilderness a lodging place of a wayfaring man, that I might leave my people and go from them, for they, all, for they be all adulterers and assembly of treacherous men." See, you can, when you read this about Jeremiah, you go in chapter 8, and God had proclaimed a judgment on his people of Judah because of their sin and their transgression and their idolatries. And Jeremiah was heartbroken, and he was weeping for the people. And then in chapter 9, we read where he was so aggravated because even though God said, listen, if you don't repent, if you don't turn over, and I'm going to turn you to an exile, and, and you're going to be in bondage under the Babylonians, they continue to sin. And Jeremiah was upset, and he said, if I was able to go into the wilderness and go into a, a, a lodge, and if, in, in our terms, what he's saying is if I can just get away, I would find me a hotel somewhere because this is what he was saying he said in the wilderness a lodging place of wayfaring men of traveling men so he was saying if I could just go out in the desert somewhere where there's a hotel I would find myself I would lock myself in there away from my people so he, you could find that he was frustrated, he was aggravating, he was burned out and, and, and stressful and overwhelmed. And then you look in Mark chapter 6 verse 31 and Jesus was talking to his disciples and he said, and he said unto them, Come ye yourselves apart into a desert place and rest a while. For there were many coming and going and they had no leisure so much as to eat. So Jesus even recognized that the disciples was being burned out. They was being overwhelmed because of the work and, and they were being tired. And Jesus said, listen, these people are coming in and out and there's no rest for my disciples. Not even so much a time to sit down and eat. So he commanded them, said, listen, he said, just go away and rest. Go in a place where nobody else is there and rest. And I believe he was also encouraging them to pray. So there's no, nothing wrong with us wanting to get away. There's nothing wrong with us wanting to, you know, go somewhere and, 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 and rest and, and collect our thoughts and breathe a little bit. 
But I want you to know that wherever we find ourselves, make sure that we take the time to call upon the Lord. Make sure we take the time to pray and ask God to renew us and give us peace and, and give us rest. Look at Matthew chapter 11 verse 22. It says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Hebrews chapter 4 verse 9 simply says, There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. And lastly in 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 7, it simply tells us to cast our cares upon Him for He cares for us. Folks, listen, when you feel overwhelmed, when you feel burdened, when you feel like you've been attacked, when you feel like there's no more strength, when you feel frustrated and you just want to walk away and leave everything behind, instead of running away from your problems, instead of running away from your people, just run to Jesus Christ. Run to God. Find rest in Him. Find peace in Him. Find strength in Him. There's nothing wrong because, like I said, David, Jeremiah... And even Jesus told His disciples, you know, just to go somewhere, rest. David said, if I could just be like a dove and fly away, I would dwell in the wilderness because he was so aggravated with his people. Jeremiah, if I could just find a, a, a lodging place, if I could find a little hotel in the desert somewhere, I'd check in and I would never go back. He was upset. He was frustrated with his people. But then he found peace and they, he found um, comfort in the Lord. And the Lord gave him strength. Listen, today God will give you strength. Don't run away from your troubles, but run to Jesus with your troubles. And He'll give you a way of escape. Listen, that's all i got for you today. Lord willing, we'll be back tomorrow with another devotion. Just know that God will give you peace if you call out on Him. Share this video and have a great day. Love you guys. God bless you.